All right, we're live. Let's maybe just give a moment or two for whoever. All the lucky souls are going to come into our lives tonight. Hey! And, yeah, I'll let you know when some people come online here. Yeah. Um, it's weird. It takes a minute for... To go live and then people click on it and they're like, oh, what's this? You know, they get. All right, let me make sure it's in the right place. Hold on. Okay. Because usually people are live by now. Okay, it looks like they are. Go ahead. Hi, guys. So, um... We are really excited to announce that uh, Seth and I have decided to come together again and to host a monthly educational class that is going to be like a, a VIP membership for those that want to go deeper with us. And we're going to focus on what it means to truly be becoming an awakened walking stargate hmm. through this ascension process. Seth and I have both received the downloads from Galactic Intel that it's time to do this. And as he is embodied in masculine and I am embodied in feminine, we have a really beautiful balance of holding that male female container and it feels like it's really important right now as we're all coming into harmony and inner balance with our male and female. So we've both been guided to, to basically do a school for star seeds um, in a way that'll be affordable for all of you and also allow us to reach many more of you all over the world rather than just in our one-on-one -on -one sessions which I do and Seth does, but there's only one of Seth and one of me, and we want to be able to help so many more of you. So um, we're going to be sharing downloads and codes and activations, but we're also going to be translating this into a grounded understanding of the process of what the body's going through, how you can open up your own galactic gifts and return to your own galactic understandings and your own nature, um, reclaiming your codes and your frequencies and your unique galactic heart song or vibratory resonance mm. so that you can start fully stepping into becoming the starseed awakened supernova stargate that you are. Mm. Um, yeah. <laughs> Would you love to jump in and share a bit? I would I love would. that. I feel like it would be great to talk a little bit about our background individually and together, you know, because sure. the hey, way yeah. Nina and I came together is so cool. And it, it's just so out of the quote unquote ordinary in that we didn't know each other. Nina made contact with me and was just like, I need to see you. And I was like, I usually, I have a lot of people who reach out and say that. And I have a good detection meter of who I want to let into my field. And it's not a snobby thing at all. It's just when you're more aware of yourself as an energy form than a human, you just know certain energies are going to be beneficial or not. And it's not that I don't want to let people that I don't know into my field, but I just want to be discerning because, you know, I've gone a lot of different directions with that and I've learned how to do that in a way that's healthy for both me and the other person and plus really what we're here to do is encourage those who are really looking to do the inner work instead of those who are looking to just like oh help me tell me how to think like do energy work on me save me like we don't want that we want people who are here to do the work who are willing to rise above the conditions of their past, of anything that has ever held them back. And that's been my energetic signature for a long time. So 
those who get through to me are usually very similar to that in their own life choice or affirmation. And so Nina contacted me and immediately, I mean, just I immediately felt like, whoa, what is this? She, like, I need to talk to you. And we talked, we had an amazing conversation. Next thing, she's coming up to visit me in Maine. And we're like, <laughs> which is totally rare for me too, by, by the way, like I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, this is, and again, well, I'll preface this too, just by saying this has been done with the highest level of integrity. We're not lovers. We're not boyfriend, girlfriend. We're not husband and wife. We are two individuals that are so devotedly committed to our own internal evolutionary process to the degree that we are emanating the electromagnetic signature of that intention so vibrantly that we're attracting that into our field. So I'm on the phone with her. She's like, <laughs> she's like, I'm going to come up. I'm like, yes. Yeah. So she came up, we're hanging out and we spent you know, like 12 hours together or something. And we're smiling. We're like, oh, like we know each other, family, you know, and feeling all that. And then something happened where she was like, all right, well, you know, we'll see you next time. She's going to go back to Connecticut where she was living at that time. And we were at a parking lot together in, <laughs> ba in Bath, Maine. You know, we, we still hadn't quite figured out like what our connection was. And yeah. we're in a parking lot in um, like a, a food center place up here and we're sitting in my car and we're like talking and looking at each other and all of a sudden we just broke through to a new dimension, a new state of being. I, those who know me, like I have spent my life going into every dimension and state of being that I could ever enter just to make sense of why I exist. And I'm very familiar with many different times, dimensions, codes, frequencies, energies, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm good in those realms, you could say. I wouldn't say I'm great, but I'm really good. When her and I had that breakthrough together, it was new to me. I had never experienced that with another human being in that way because it was so palpable. It was so profound. It was so tangible. And we kept looking at each other like, what is happening? Like, knowing what's happening, but like, is this really happening? <laughs> yeah. So basically, we're, we've both just been really embodied in our galactic nature. And as we are extremely close cosmic brother and sister and tremendously love each other and are huge allies for each other, um it made sense, it makes sense, and we've been directed to to step up and to hold a container of space for all of the star seeds and for those that are struggling. A lot of star seeds are struggling right now with physical ascension symptoms, and there's a lot of panic, there's a lot of anxiety around this process of acceleration. Um, you're becoming a lot more sensitive to foods. You're becoming more sensitive to environments. You're going through tremendous changes on a cellular and DNA level. And it's easy to talk about this in a mental manner, like cerebrally, Seth and I can be like, oh guys, you're, you know, you're changing and your DNA, what the heck does that mean? And what can you expect? And what does it look like to be becoming a stargate? Really? Like, wow, what is that like? And what does it mean for the ascension to be happening through you? And why were you chosen for this? And why did you sign up for this? And and also, a lot of you have um, inverted codes and, and inverted programs that are preventing you from fully stepping into your own innate Stargate activation. And so Seth and I are going to be bringing through codes and frequencies to activate your own master key codes and to download you 
I will also be mixing in some theta healing, so reprogramming, because there's some very, like, no, uh, there's a lot of these same collective starseed patterns and in the matrix field that I'm witnessing in my sessions, and, and Seth and I have both gone through this process, so we know it quite well. And also, as we're both really connected to frequency and sound, which is what this is all about, we're literally becoming awakened on a quantum level. We're going to be bringing through the sound codes and frequencies and activations and then assisting you to open your own voice so you can start speaking again in your star language and you can start harmonizing your own being into alignment we all have been given unique codes and frequencies. And Seth and I know that we're all really important to this ascension process. We're just here supporting you because it's the divine timing for us to play this role for you right now. But we're doing this because we want you all on board with us. We need all of us together. We need all the codes. We need all the frequencies because we're becoming like a cosmic band and we need to unify together so that all of those individual notes are coming together to create an incredible cosmic orchestra, which is the orchestration of the ascension, which is a musical harmonic convergence. Oh, I have chills. So mm. it's so exciting. Mm. Once again, this is going to be really affordable. We're going to do uh, two two uh, talks a month, which will be every other week. And it will first begin with the downloads and the activations. And then the second week will be, once you've integrated that, we're going to be talking about that on a grounded level so that you know what it means to embody this 5D galactic nature into your 3D reality. Because we're still existing in a 3D world right now, so we, we, can't, we can't disconnect from that. What we need to learn to do is to bring the higher frequencies and to become those bridges, those galactic bridges, which is what it is part of being, being a Stargate. I think going so, into that a little yeah. bit, because, and for those who maybe don't know these terms that well, a lot of people are hearing the words Stargate or Lightworker, I mean star seeds or Lightworker and all that, maybe going a little bit deeper into what a Stargate is, because that's like a whole new paradigm to the Lightworker and Energy Worker communities. You want me to talk about that right now? Maybe just mention it, so that way people can get like the intensity or the gravity or anti-gravity, okay. I should say. Of the <laughs> okay. I, well, that's what we're going to be diving into in yeah. the next couple of weeks. But, um, okay, well, how do I? I don't really know how to Well, the difference between right now in this moment. All right, I'll do it if you want, if that feels yeah, good please. to you. So a lot of people understand that. And, and, again, this is my interpretation. Like, you might have a different interpretation of it, which is great. But a lot of people understand the term starseed. You know, that we are seeded from another star system and that our genetics or DNA are spread out over the cosmos from who knows where. It could be anywhere, you know, but a lot of us have converged on this timeline, on this planet, in many different races, forms, all of that, but still carrying these genetic lineages that do not originate from this planet. And that's great. That's beautiful. That's wonderful. But the next level of this is, I know that in my own physiology, by being this, you know, I, I was born as a child knowing that I didn't come from here, that I actually came from somewhere else. I had memory of it. I had actual parallel universe or parallel dimension experiences of where I came from. Now, I didn't overinvest too much attention into that and get caught up in it and let it take me away because I knew that being present here now like with all this was really where the energy was and that became the case in that being incarnating into this body I discovered by being super present being in these coherent states of being 
I could activate these dormant perceptual centers that were in and actually around my entire being by getting into these higher coherent states, by getting into using sonic frequencies of my own voice, of my own breathing, of my own intention, of all these different methods and modalities that we're going to get into to literally open up the gates that, and it's not just one stargate, there are stargates and the chakra right. system is only part, the beginning of it. There are stargates inside of the field itself, our own personal energy field. So give people an idea what this is about. This is about stepping into the essence of what you truly are and doing it over and over again through every different level and layer of your being until a crystallization of human consciousness occurs. Whereas you know yourself to be more complete as the formless energy form that you are animating this human form. That's where we're here to do. That's where we're here to help others embody. That's my definition of it. That's, that was beautiful. <laughs> it's, if I were to put it into, after what you just said, I was thinking, okay, how would we put this into like a really small context? I would say we're learning to channel our galactic selves. We are learning to channel our future 5D galactic selves, which are already in existing, getting our attention and merging with us as we are awakening. And as we are awakening out of the 3D matrix, we are awakening into the 5D ascension, new earth reality. And through this, our entire body is changing. And in this way, we are becoming stargate gates for that opening to bring through to channel through that divine diamond light and that wisdom that we already have within us that we just forgot is that is that a good breakdown of it absolutely you think so? yeah okay between what we both brought so, yeah and also too because we are alive right now before we yeah. hang up, if anybody has any questions or anything at all about anything we're saying, please um, add them because yeah, we want great. this to be interactive. Be so, I was going to add that this is also not religious. Meaning, for me, like I really love Yeshua, Sananda, Christ. I relate to Christ consciousness. So for me, being a starseed means I carry the light that is Christ consciousness within me. Because that for me is, is connected to the diamond light, which is the highest frequency. But if someone doesn't relate to that word, because maybe they've been programmed by religion, I completely respect that. So, because, but, but if for example, you do identify with being Christian or you identify with being Christed, it doesn't mean that you can't also be a star seed. It's all encompassing. And when we see it from this perspective, in some ways, for me, it allowed me to feel closer to the true heart of Christ than I ever had. Because as a galactic child, I always felt so close to Yeshua, but not the Christ that the church was teaching me about. But Christ that was in my heart, the Christ is consciousness already in my heart, and the Bible, the word that was already written upon my heart, which was like this, this, um, this golden script, you know, the, the, the truth of, of the, I'm getting like, like the golden meme of the universe. The mm. Seth, you probably really, would you like, you take this because <gasps> this is like, you, are, you can elaborate on this. I would say kids every, for every person alive with every different language they've learned with every different way that they process information each and every one of us are going to perceive what we're conveying here in their own unique way and we encourage that and we like truly encourage it and we want to help people understand that if you can get beyond the parts of you that feel like they're triggered or have belief systems or this or that you're going to find that what we're actually doing is instead of focusing on the differences that we all think we have, we are committed to 
focusing on the similarities, the commonalities, the unifying aspect that we all share as individuals and collectively as a species and learning how to interact, communicate, form communities and just exist from this place of I don't care what anybody has ever said or thought about me in the past. I know that I love you and everybody else aside from everything that has ever happened to anybody's past because this Christed consciousness, this crystalline, this crystallization of human consciousness that is becoming activated through our willing and conscious intent to live in harmony with it is allowing us to see that we don't have to be prisoners of the past. We don't have to live in anything that is not in an expansive, open, loving container. So we're creating a new container that's all inclusive, that includes everybody and everything. And you're going to feel it because that's all there is. Yeah, I love that. And we're working directly with the galactics as uh I'm a, I work as a channel and I channel the Pleiadians and I work directly as an emissary of the Galactic Federation of Light. And Seth also works directly with the Galactic Federation of Light. And so the Galactic Federation of Light is, is assisting in this entire process. And we will be tuning into the specific souls that we're working with when you sign up and you decide to join this um this educational platform with us, like this, this star seed school schooling system, we'll be tuning into you directly and we'll be receiving messages to know what the collective needs. So it's definitely going to also be um, receiving the Intel directly in the moment. And it's going to have to do with what's happening on the planet, the current incoming waves, the current ascension frequencies, what the collective is going through, what the star seeds are going through collectively. So it's a, a beautiful way for you to also have and to begin having a much more direct communication with the Galactic Federation of Life and with your own galactic nature by learning and by connecting to that frequency, which we're going to be holding for you since we already do that. And we know that a lot of you want to learn to do that, and we want you to learn to do that. So we're showing up to play that role for you right now. It's multifold, you know, like Nina's yeah. saying. We're going to be getting into these spaces and doing these activations and downloads, but we're also going to be helping others understand their own physiology and psychology and perception so that they can start to do the same. Because the more of us that are doing this individually, who come together collectively, the greater we're gonna see the change in this world at a time when there is nothing but change happening. It couldn't be at like a more exciting time to be doing something like this. Absolutely. And if the star seeds can all really awaken to their stargate nature and we were all to accelerate together, we would literally be accelerating the timeline of awakening. So it's, it's one of the most important things that we can do because we are very, very, very powerful together and being able to come together collectively to generate and to be conduits of 5d frequency galactic codes, we will create a tremendous awakening on this planet. And there's absolutely nothing more important than that right now. And there's nothing else that gets me more excited than that reality that is happening right now. <laughs> mm, well said. Me too. My God. It's like so many of us feel like we've lived our entire lives for these very moments that are playing out in the world stage around us right now. And that being the case, it's more important than ever that we start coming together and really recognizing one another and reflecting back to each other what we see in each other, the potential we see. We want to encourage the best in everybody and everything. And you know what? We can do that. You can do that. 
it's it's happening. It's like we're realizing that being in these old conditioned ways that have got us kind of stuck feeling static and just not connected, those ways are just eroding away like a pff, ocean or just gets rid of dense rock that no longer needs to be there. That's the frequency, the flood of energy and And then you get activated, and then you activate, and then they activate, and it's just, it's, it's a beautiful domino effect of awakening and activation and ascension, and it's, it's the gift of awareness that just keeps on giving. And that's beautiful. I'd love to say, like, it's really about tapping into the innocence and the purity of your own awareness, because... The more we do that in a child-esque, not a childish, but a child-esque type of way and become aware of the innocent nature of our own consciousness, it allows us to transcend all thoughts, all beliefs, all programs, all perceptions, everything, all dimensions, all of it. And we eventually start to be able to have direct access to infinity. And that's a lot of what is channeled through us as individuals, through our little group here. Like it's, and anybody who's felt that firsthand knows how powerful this truly is. You know, when you have somebody who's really connected, who's doing this stuff, your life changes. But when you mm -hmm. learn that you are capable of doing this by just understanding a few simple things that you put into practice enough times, now we're talking about real change from the inside out that, like the hundredth monkey effect, has the ability to transform things from the way they look into the way we would love them to be. Yes. Oh, God, that was gorgeous stuff. And we're going to be giving you step-by-step -step grounded tools for you to do at home. We're also going to be talking about the shadow side. Of what is the shadow side of being a star seed? What is the baggage that comes with that? Because we've all been through so much in our families. There's a lot of programs of insecurity because we've never fit in here. There's a lot of fears. Maybe you don't feel safe being in the body because you've yet to find how to be in the body as a star seed in your galactic nature and feel safe to fully ground here to the heart of Gaia because maybe some part of you has been hurt here. And this is what's happened to so many star seeds. Um, Starseeds suffer from addiction. Starseeds yeah. can suffer from uh, codependency. They can suffer from, from uh, as, as I said already, the, the insecurity. They can suffer from loneliness. So just by putting voice to this and talking about it, um, it's going to help to break a lot of those chains so that you don't feel alone in this process of awakening because... We all really just need to come together now, and it's time. We we're not we're not in this alone. Seth, you know, a lot of us star seeds, we've been like the lone wolf. We carry like the lone wolf at imprint. Yeah. Um, and we're stepping out of that, and we're waking up together in our star seed psychic collective connection. And as we were talking about becoming stargates, each stargate has its own power its own pathway like the heart the stargate when we all meet there and activate in that space together mm. it's like we're we're at home together yeah. we're we are reconnecting to our family together we have access to each other and we, all the time it's amazing Seth and I we communicate all the time on an entirely <laughs> different level and we, it doesn't even surprise us anymore it's, it's like we actually are communicating more psychically together than we are in this way. And then we catch up in this 3D manner, but we've already had the entire conversation on a psychic level. It's amazing, right? So it's, it's like, wow. And it's quickening. It's speeding up. It's happening at a level that's like being amplified, which, hello, could that be any more exciting, you know? But... It does require knowing, because you and I have done it. We've, we've spent so much time together where we're like, 
activation, activation. Oh my God, I feel so good. And then boom, like, okay, whoa, what just happened? And these activations are powerful. They're very powerful and they do require some integration time. And so understanding the cycles and rhythms of what it is, what it's like to get activated, and then how to deal with and integrate the activations after they've occurred is just as important as getting the activations. Because ultimately, you know, and from my perspective, the ascension process isn't, oh, this, you know, there's so much pain and suffering and all this going on in the world. Like, let's ascend and move beyond it all into another dimension. I have a very different perception than that. Oh, all the oppression and pain and suffering and everything is so much. I'm going to ascend into a different dimension, become what I truly am in that dimension, and then bring all of my separate pieces that are spread out throughout forever back into this dimension so that I can help sanctify this place through my living expression, through every breath I take, through every word I speak, just become the role model, the exemplary cosmic role model of one who knows they're connected to all and loves that they're connected to all. Oh, that was beautiful. And that's really what it is. That's why we're here. That's why all the star seeds came back. We didn't come to judge. We didn't come to um, to feel beat up, although the initiation process has <laughs> been extreme. <laughs> like, we just highlight that extreme. We're pretty much every single lifetime karmically facing us. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yes, exactly what you just said, Seth. And I think that's a beautiful place for us to end, unless anybody has any questions. Um, if you guys are interested in signing up for this, please email my email, which is Nina Starsong at yahoo.com. And most importantly, because I get a million emails a day for personal sessions, I need you to put in the title of it, Stargate Activation, because this way we'll know what you're emailing about, um, because I get so many requests for one-on-one personal sessions that sometimes I don't get back to those to reply until weeks later, because I have a, a very long wait list at this point. So I'll be watching for the emails that say Stargate Activation, And then Seth and I will send you all of the information. And we are so excited to get this started and to work with you guys. We've been, we've kind of, this has been um, on the burner for a while. And it's, it's, it's go time. It is divine timing. And as you can tell, I'm just, I'm very, very excited about this. And I know that Seth is too. We're very excited. So again, like the video, or I didn't say that yet. Like the video, love the video, share the video. If you know others who you feel like would love to know about this, tell them. Because yeah. I've committed my life to doing this. Nina has done the same. So many others are. And the more we do this internal work, encourage each other to do the internal work, and then connect together from that place, we're going to transcend all the confines of all our limitations in all of this life and every other life that we've ever been through to get to this monumental, groundbreaking, incomprehensibly ineffable (laughs) situation that we're experiencing both personally and collectively as human beings. But, you know, we aren't human beings. The human being is the secondary expression of what we actually are. We are a formless divine energy that is animating a human form. And that's primary, but so many have forgotten that for so long that we've just been stuck in a little bit of a reversal where, what's the quote? We're, we're, not, spirit, we're not human beings having a spiritual experience. We're spiritual beings having a human experience. We're here to help people get back to the ladder to integrate that and then meet each other from that place and have a celebration both here on earth and in the cosmos now and forever. Yes. As vessels of indestructible light that is eternal and ever expanding. 
we love you guys so much. And we look forward to beginning this journey with you. All right. Thank you. And I'll... I'll write Nina's email address and um, what to put in the title, I mean the subject line of the email below for everybody who wants to enter this. So that'll be below this. All right. Anything else? I think that we are complete for now. All right. Mission complete, you guys. We love you. And if people want to comment below, we'll keep checking this. We're going to put it on a bunch of other platforms too. So um, it's not necessarily time sensitive. So comment on it if you have any questions or anything at all. Bye, guys. Goodbye, everybody. Blessings.